The Indian protesters in PEI failed in their attempts at a hunger strike. The whole initiative, of course, was laughable to begin with. When this whole thing started, their initial threat was to go on a 24-hour hunger strike. That's not a hunger strike. That's called fasting. I've done tons of 24-hour fasts throughout my life, and the longest I've been able to fast was for 60 hours. So after the public laughed them out of the room for threatening to go on a fast, the group shifted the goalposts and went with what they called a dry hunger strike. Admittedly, going without liquids for an extended period of time can actually be damaging. Honestly, I can't say I believe they went fully dry, though. There is zero doubt in my mind they were sneaking liquids in on the sly. Apparently, their hunger strike was paused when Jeff Young, the director of the Provincial Office of Immigration, asked them to give his office time to review their options. The leader of the protests, Rupinder Pal Singh, who I've done a couple of videos about, look for the links to those videos in the video description, had this to say. They have all the information they require. Now, we are just waiting for answers. As the government is cooperating with us, definitely we will be doing the same thing, and we are going to pause the ongoing hunger strike as requested and encouraged by the government. It seems like they received the message, and they are working on it, and definitely the ball is in their court only, so we will be expecting more positive answers sooner. Now, he's not wrong about what he said about the message. If PI's assembly caves on this, it puts out a very bad message. And that message is that Canada is a nation of simps. We're telling the world that anyone can manipulate us and we'll roll over for even the smallest of threats. It's now about to happen in Ontario as well. Take a look at this. It's a poster being floated to promote the coming protests in Ontario for workers to be able to stay beyond their agreed upon terms. This is what the message is putting out. And they've been public about this. They've been public about saying they've been inspired by what they've seen in PEI. So you see, this is why we've really, really got to make sure we buckle down on this. If you look at the bottom of the poster, you'll see one of the points of protest is to stop what they call LMIA-based exploitation. We will cover LMIA in greater detail in a future video, but I strongly suggest you look it up to get an idea of how entitled this movement is and how utterly disconnected from reality they happen to be. Now, moving on. No one was monitoring their hunger strike closely, so they could have been cheating the whole time, and it's disgraceful. And it's not only disgraceful to Canadians, but to Indians who actually know how to put on a real hunger strike. And I'm referring to none other than Mahatma Gandhi. Throughout his years as an activist, Gandhi had led several hunger strikes. And when he did, this guy meant business. Gandhi also has two 21-day hunger strikes under his belt. One of those was meant to foster better relations between Hindus and Muslims. The other 21-day hunger strike was to protest the brutality of British colonialism. And let me tell you, there is a stark difference between the British troops who occupied India and the Canadians these protesters claim are trampling on their right. The British colonialists were absolutely brutal. Many of them barely saw Indians as human, which was demonstrated with the way they abrogated their rights. They subjugated them in their own homeland. Canadians, on the other hand, have been very warm and welcoming, and as we've seen through social media and the news, many Canadians have given the protesters and PEI their full support. I'm bringing all of this up to illustrate just how soft our nation is getting. You look at what a noble man like Gandhi put himself through to achieve a worthy mission, and the sizable risks he took to accomplish them. And then you compare that to a bunch of fraudulent, entitled hucksters looking to game the system, launching into childish theatrics when they get called out. So here's hoping the powers that be in PI hold the line, because if they don't, we're in serious trouble, especially with a guy like Mark Miller controlling the flow of immigration. So thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing.